My name's Chris Thorne. I'm the Aboriginal Community Support Worker for the Cool and Ballot Project and I work for the PCP in Benalla. I'm going to have a bit of a yarn about advanced care planning. So I thought it'd be really good to tell the story of my lived experience of how important it is to have an advanced care plan because I've just been through a situation that wasn't real good and there wasn't an advanced care plan to help us out. I don't think we ever get really ready and prepared for those phone calls that happen. And um, I had one of those phone calls and they, um, they told me that uncle was rushed to hospital and he wasn't looking too good. So you go into panic mode and he was a long way away from here and I just, I didn't know what to do first. I knew I had to get there, but I didn't know the things I needed. There was work commitments, there's family commitments, there's all these things. And it sends you chaotic. You, you have strange thoughts and crazy thoughts, but I knew that I had to be there. I just had to go. So I was quick as I could, I got organised and off I went on this journey. So they took me up to intensive care and I walked in and I seen someone who I love laying there on life support. And the family starts talking about, well, the what ifs and what are we going to do and how are we going to do it. And it didn't take long to work out that there wasn't an advanced care plan. And that just made things a whole lot worse because then the argument started. We talked, we cried, we laughed, we yelled, we screamed. Every emotion you can think of. It was... It has been the hardest thing I've had to do in my life so far. I didn't know what an advanced care plan was until all this happened. But I sure do know now what it is. When the doctors come in, as they did many times, to talk to me, being the senior person there, and ask me to talk to the family about, have we thought about turning off the machines? I wouldn't wish it on anyone, having to sit there and, and go through that sort of emotions and not knowing what to do. How easy it would be to be in a position where every one of us had had an advanced care plan and every one of us were aware of what his wishes were and every one of us were strong enough to carry out his wishes without the arguments, without the yelling and screaming, without the negative stuff. I wish we had had one, but we didn't. So I'm telling this story because I want people to realise that everyone in your family needs an advanced care plan. All of us need an advanced care plan. So none of us have to go through that trauma. That's how much we love our kids and our family. That's why we should do it. Have a think about it.